hello dear students welcome everyone to another session of amazing world of science where we upload ncert line to line chapters from classes 8 to 12 and uh, today uh, we are going to continue with uh, chemistry part 1 textbook for class 11 so already we had uh, started the first chapter some basic concepts of chemistry and uh, in the previous session we had uh, finished up to this part uh, that is we were talking about the atoms and molecules which are the basic constituents of matter and uh, we call chemistry as a science of atoms and molecules and uh, now we are supposed to explain uh, how physical properties of matter can be quantitatively described using numerical values with suitable units and before uh, getting into that topic first let us uh, have a look at the importance of chemistry you know chemistry plays a main role in science and it, it's often intertwined with other branches of science what is meant by intertwined it is also connected with other branches of science like uh, physics and biology also principles of chemistry are applicable in diverse areas like weather patterns brain functioning operation of computer production chemical industries manufacturing fertilizers alkalis acids salts dyes polymers drugs soaps detergents metals alloys see everything these are all these are uh, what we come across in our day to day life so you all should be very much familiar about these terms and also chemistry makes a big contribution to our national economy and it plays an important role in meeting human needs for food health care products and other materials aimed at improving the quality of life so this is exemplified by the large scale production of variety of fertilizers improved variety of pesticides insecticides see day to day uh, the quality of these uh, uh, fertilizers and all that has to be improved so only with the help of uh, chemistry we can do all this to get better yield of uh, products and all that and to destroy the pests everywhere chemistry has got an application and also chemistry provides methods for isolation of life saving drugs from natural sources and makes possible synthesis of such drugs so only you know all of you know that without uh, medicines nobody can exist and it's very a crucial element uh, in uh, in health care sector so all these medicines how are they manufactured that is main source of drugs and uh, uh, medicines are also chemistry and uh, some drugs like uh, uh, cisplatin taxol these are all very effective in cancer therapy and the drug a is a t acidothymidine that is used to help aids patients and also another contribution of chemistry is in the development of growth of a nation so with a better understanding of chemical principles now it has become possible to design and synthesize new materials having specific magnetic electric and optical properties so nowadays it's tailor made i mean these substances their properties and all can be changed by using various techniques in chemistry and this has led to the production of superconducting ceramics conducting polymers optical fibers you know optical fibers and all are used in telecommunication sector and all that and the polymers are used in conducting polymers are there and also it uh, chemistry has helped in establishing industries which manufactures utility goods what are they acids alkalis dyes then uh, polymer metals and uh, these industries contribute in a big way to the economy of the nation and generate employment so so many uh, use importances of chemistry are too much uh, in everyday life for mankind starting from medicines to different types of industries wherever we come across in our day to day life everywhere you can see the importance of chemistry and in recent years chemistry has helped in dealing with pressing aspects of environmental degradation with a fair degree of success so so many uh, problems and uh, 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 many aspects are there in environmental degradation means uh, deterioration or damage uh, using chemistry uh, they have found out a great deal of success in that what are they say for alternatives to uh, you know refrigerants uh, which we use uh, uh, for refrigerating purpose like cfc chlorofluorocarbons so these are uh, uh, you know they cause depletion or 
damage to ozone layer in the stratosphere so it has been uh, successfully synthesized but uh, you know many environmental problems uh, continue to be matters of uh, great concern to the chemists that is one of them is the management of greenhouse gases like methane carbon dioxide and all that so understanding the biochemical process use of enzyme for large scale production of chemicals and synthesis of new material these are the intellectual challenges for the future generation of chemists so one must uh, know about the biochemical process now why enzymes are used and the large scale production of chemicals and uh, manufacturing new materials these are all challenges the chemist has to face so uh, ours is a developing country so it needs talented and creative chemical chemists to accept the challenges so in order to be a good chemist and to accept challenges you have to know the basic concepts of chemistry which begins the, with the concept of matter so first we we'll learn about the nature of matter okay so already you know what is matter anything which has weight and which occupies space is called matter and uh, everything around us like book pencil water air these are all made up of matter and they have mass and they occupy space you know for example a table a chair so these are all uh, different forms of matters you can see the examples in everywhere around you and what are the states of matter these you might have learned in your uh, smaller classes like a uh, matter can exist in three physical states like solid liquid and gases so matter has got these three uh, solid liquid and gas uh, state particles which are held close to each other in solids you know they are so closely packed with each other that that is what uh, gives solid their definite uh, shape and uh, there is no uh, freedom for movement for molecules in solids but whereas in liquids the particles are close to each other but they can move around but in gases the particles are so far apart uh, when compared to solids or liquids that their movement is very easy and fast so because of this nature different uh, uh, forms of matter shows different characteristics for example solids have definite volume and shape liquids have definite volume but no definite shape you know that if, uh, liquids can uh, take the shape of any container which you fill them up and uh, also gases they don't have uh, definite uh, volume no definite shape you can see uh, in solids see molecules are closely packed in liquid they take the shape of the container not so cl- closely packed in gases they are molecules are far apart and they completely occupy the container in which they are placed so the three states of matter are uh interconvertible meaning you can change it from one form solid can be changed to liquid liquid to gas gas to solid every uh, uh, way it is possible okay solid what does this mean this is uh, reversible you no know, that means solid can change to liquid liquid can come back to solid like that so what happens if you heat a solid it changes to liquid when you heat liquid it goes to become a gas or vapor and reverse process gases are uh, cool to get liquid liquid in turn are cooled again solid okay now uh in our next session we'll learn about the classification of matter uh, so see you will have to be thorough with all these basics uh, from chemistry only then from now on uh, no need to hurry up we'll do it uh, little by little so that it is easy for you to understand i'm sure only going to cover all the topics for you uh, from class 11 and focus on class 12 and 10 as well we'll be doing class 9 also so all the students uh, you keep on uh, watching the channel so that whenever i uh, do a posting for a particular class you will be able to know only if you uh, subscribe and press the uh, bell button so that you will get the notifications immediately of as soon as i post a new video so we'll learn together all of you and uh, try to get a very good basics uh, in chemistry and science as well Uh, at school level so do share like and subscribe to our channel amazing world of science and i'll be coming up with a brand new session uh, as soon as possible so thanks for watching